before I answer that, I, I really have to say, you know, you know, talking to UD, who's been in this league for 20, with one team for 20 years, I think, like, I, I just have to give him so much respect uh, for what he's done for this franchise, this, the, the Heat organization, the community, and, you know, him being able to talk about the respect that he had for our team says a lot um, because he's seen a lot. And her, for him to have the respect for our team that he spoke about is just huge. Um, but to your question, I, I really just think our guys have continued to battle all year, compete all year, not reflective of the record at times. And I think they understand that and our, our fans understand that. And, and, and I think it's a, it's a great place for this team to know how we can grow and get better in a big summer. Whoever puts on that jersey and they step on that floor, they're going to compete. And that's what that group did. You know, they played hard for each other. They played together. They were willing to share the basketball. They're making the right plays, the in-game adjustments that they fell on. I, I, I can't be happier for a group of guys that don't get to play a ton of minutes during the year, but when that number's called, they're ready to go. Do you feel like your guys being so young can learn a lot from a guy like him as far as the work ethic? Well, that's what he said in that pregame speech, being able to put that work in. And there's a reason why he lasts 20 years with one team because of his care for his teammates, because of that locker room, because of his intensity, his toughness, his, his backing of, of, of Spo constantly. And I think it, it says so much about his character, who he is. And our guys can take so much from that. You know, 20 years is, it's hard to do in this league. It's very hard to do in this league. And I, I know... So a lot of people think that it, you know, you can last that long by just kind of getting by, but you can't. There's a work ethic that comes with it. There's a care factor that comes with it, and he has all of those pieces. And it's and for him, it's you know, obviously, big, it's been bigger than basketball because he represents Miami to the fullest. There's a word or two that you would use to describe your team. Mm -hmm. What would those word or words be? One would be resilient. Uh, two would be care. You know, we care for each other. We care for the game. We care for the work and, that we put in. Um, we just care about doing the things the right way. And I think uh, as a result of that, you see how hard they play with a level of resiliency that's going to keep us going no matter what because of that care factor. Coach, what stood out to you in terms of the You know, they hit some tough, down, tough shots down the stretch. He flipped the zone, you know, went to the zone in the second half away from us offensively. So I think we got a little bit stagnant. Um, I think we turned it over a couple times. That led to a little early, early runouts for them. And then they, the game broke away from there. But again, they hit some tough shots, you know, some, some shots that you, some guys hit that you don't expect them to. You know, UD said he'd been working on it. So he came out and had 24, got those shots up. So, you know, respect to him and, you know, what they've done. But that's what happened, I think, in the second half. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.